I'm Chris Duke from Motors TV. We're here live in Las Vegas for the 2009 SEMA show. I'm going to show you how to install a retractable tonneau cover from Truck Covers USA. The retractable American roll cover from Truck Covers USA is designed to custom fit virtually every make and model of pickup trucks sold today. It's engineered to accommodate both factory and aftermarket truck accessories. In this episode, we install one on a 2010 Ford F-150. The tools required for this installation include a pair of scissors, a 1 8 drill bit, a drill, an inch and a quarter hole saw, a pair of safety goggles, a Phillips, a flat blade screwdriver, a center punch, a hammer, a 10 millimeter deep socket with a ratchet, a box knife, a tape measure, some rubbing alcohol, and a towel. This may be the most fun I've ever had with my clothes on. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to bring that big canister into the bed of the truck. But before we do that, we've got a couple things we need to take care of. We need to put this weather strip along the top of the bed. So first we're going to clean that with some rubbing alcohol and then trim the excess. Next, we need to drill some holes for the drain tubes, which connect to the bottom of the canister. So grab an inch and a quarter hole saw and drill right through these plastic pieces. Now because we've already installed a bed rug, we need to cut a slit through here for that hose. So make an initial incision and then poke it through. Poke through a screwdriver or something like that and make it a little bit bigger, just big enough for that inch hose to sit through there. After testing the fitment for that drain hose, grab a buddy and have him help you lift that canister into the bed of the truck. Once you've got the canister in the bed of the truck, you want to center, check the gap on both sides here. We've got about a quarter of an inch, which is just fine. Then you can take the side rails, and those kind of lock into place right there. And then snug that forward, and then go to the back. Lift it up slightly, and then close the tailgate so that you don't hit this. Check for the amount of space that you've got down there. a little bit of a gap. Measure the width of the cover. We measured exactly 57 inches. Now you want to move these guys in because you want 57 and eighth. You want about an eighth inch of play. You can use the provided shims right in there to make that happen. Take your shim and put it right up here between the bed and your side rail. Take the clamp, a 9 16 socket, and start crimping it down. Now you want to install three brackets on each bed rail starting from the back and then just alternate back and forth. Pull the tonneau forward a little bit and lock it into place and take an 11 millimeter socket, remove that one nut, swing this bracket up and reapply the nut. 
Put the drain tube in through the hole that we punched through earlier through the bed rug and the back of the bed of the truck. Should be about an inch poking through. Then measure up how much you need to connect to the bottom of the canister. And then cut the tube. In addition to the drain tubes that are below the canister in the front of the bed of the truck, there's also these drain tubes in the side rails. You need to punch a hole through here, so take a center punch, knock out a little dimple right there, and then take your inch and a quarter and drill that hole out. Once you're done with that, you can take the grommet, put that inside, and connect your tube right through there, connect it to the side rail. Once you've cut your hose to the correct length, we also need to cut a hole through our bed rug here as well. Next, take the canister cover, place it on top of the canister. And then using the provided 10 millimeter bolts, tighten it down and cap them off with these little covers. Now you'll notice that the cover isn't flush with the side rail here, so you're gonna have to pull that forward, have a buddy pull that forward for you. And we've got this lock block adjuster underneath here with a Phillips head screw. You wanna loosen that up, and then there's a little slide plate loosen that up a little bit and slide it forward until it stops and then tighten it back down. Now to secure it in place there's another spot right in front of that screw. You've got to drill out a hole and then insert the supplied Phillips head screw into that hole that you're going to make. Close the cover by pulling on this strap, and you can lock it with the supplied key. For more information, go to truckcoversusa.com, and of course, for more episodes of Motors, go to motors.tv. We'll catch you next time. Visit the Motors TV website to win free parts, request a free sticker for your ride, post on our forums, and watch more episodes. www.motors.tv